So you're thinking about moving to West Chula Vista? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you some different price points of different homes so that you can see what may fit your budget. If you stick around till the end, I'm gonna share the best kept secret of the neighborhood that you definitely don't wanna miss. We're getting after it right now. If this is your first time on the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about living in San Diego, subscribe and tap the bell of the notification so that you can be the first to know about the current market in San Diego. My name is Victoria Sandoval and I'm with Select Premier Properties. Every day we get calls from people just like you. Whether you're looking to move in nine days or nine months, feel free to reach out. Our contact info is in the description button below. We'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to San Diego. Now let's take a closer look at West Chula Vista. The medium sales price for a home in West Chula Vista is approximately $750,000. This area features a variety of homes ranging from modest single-family homes to more spacious properties reflecting the diverse nature of the community. Regarding schools in Chula Vista, there are several educational institutions at different levels. Elementary schools, there's about 17. There's about five middle schools and four high schools. The average school rating for schools in Chula Vista varies, but generally they range from four to six out of 10, according to great schools ratings. This indicates while some schools perform at a high level, there is a broad range of school quality in the area. West Chula Vista is experiencing several exciting developments. One includes the Chula Vista Bayfront development, which includes the Gaylord Pacific Resort and Convention Center. This project is set to transform 535 acres near H Street and the Marina Parkway, featuring a 1600 room hotel, a spa, a lazy river, convention center, park, new roads, park structures as well. This development aims to bring 4,000 permanent jobs to boost the economy in Chula Vista. We're at one of our first stops in West Chula Vista. What I love about West Chula Vista is that you get so much more land, right, versus East Chula Vista. So this part of Chula Vista is one of the oldest areas in the city. Uh, most of these properties were built in the early 20th century. There's a mixed style of homes such as Craftman bungalows, uh, Spanish style homes, and also mid-century modern homes. So this property right behind me that you see, it's a corner unit, corner lot. And it's also a three bedroom, one bath, about 6,400 square feet as far as the lot size. And the actual square foot of the home is about 838 square feet. Now, the potential of this lot, as you can see from here, it's a much larger lot size where you have a potential to build an ADU. It's conveniently located next to a bus stop and it's on Orange Avenue, which is a major street. So it's easy, it gives you easy access to and from the freeway. And uh, there's a lot of uh, restaurants, there's shops. It makes it, for, for those of you who love to go shopping or if you're a foodie, there's a ton of restaurants here. Now, it's actually walking distance from uh, Palomar High School. And uh, you have multiple high schools right around. There's about four, uh, four to five high schools here in West Chula Vista. Um, so what I love again about living in West Chula Vista, because I'm from West Chula Vista, I grew up here. So I really love the affordability and the quality of life that you get here uh, for the price, right? So this is the, uh, this is the first property that we're looking at, listed at 645. Now we're gonna take you to the next property. The 3rd Avenue District is home to an array of local businesses, including boutiques, shops, cozy cafes, and award-winning restaurants. From delicious Mexican cuisines to craft breweries, there's something to satisfy every palate. The district hosts a numerous of community events throughout the year, such as the Lemon Festival, which celebrates Chula Vista's architectural heritage with live music, local vendors, and family fun activities. One of the highlights of Third Avenue is the Memorial Park, a green, beautiful space for picnics, strolls, and community gatherings. It's a great spot to relax and enjoy the outdoors in the midst of the city. This district is also known for its historical architecture with beautifully preserved buildings that offer a glimpse into Chula Vista's past while blending seamlessly with modern developments. 
Another notable project is the redevelopment of the Chula Vista Center, which includes plans for new retail spaces, residential units, and enhanced public areas. This mixed-use development aims to revitalize the area, providing new amenities and services to residents and visitors. Wow, so just walking through this neighborhood just really reminds me of my childhood. So I used to live literally half a mile from this next house. So as we walk up to this next house, I want to mention a few things about West Chula Vista. It actually sits in between Interstate 5 and Interstate 805. So it's south of the 54 and north of the 905, making it easy to get around town, right? So I love the location because you can get literally, you can get to the mountains in five, 10 minutes. You can get to the beach in five, 10 minutes. Uh, Chula Vista is also a short drive from the Tijuana, Mexico border, making it about a 22 minute drive. So it's approximately 14 miles. So the next property that we're going to take a look at is a three bedroom. It's a three bedroom, three bath, and it's about 1,152 square feet. The price per square foot is about $629. The lot size is about 7,100. This property was built in 1964. Uh, compared to the first property we looked at was built in 1951. So you'll notice that this property doesn't, the lot, the lot isn't as large, but it has a, a nice driveway here. And uh, you can see behind me, it's uh, nice and clean. It looks like it's ready to, uh, they, they cleaned up the front patio, or not front patio, but the front yard. Uh, it looks like they might be laying down some uh, greenery there. And uh, it's priced at a whopping $7.25. So this is what you can get in Chula Vista, West Chula Vista for $7.25. And let me mention that West Chula Vista, uh, one of the benefits of living here is that you do not have to pay an HOA fee or Melrose as it is an older community. All right, guys, I told you if you stuck around, I was gonna show you Chula Vista's best kept secret, which is Tacos El Gordo. When in Chula Vista, you can't miss Tacos El Gordo. It's Chula Vista's best kept secret. They have the best TJ Street tacos. They're affordable. It's a family owned company. They have a secret salsa that's to die for and homemade tortillas. It's a must try when in Chula Vista. Absolutely delicious. These adobada tacos are amazing and they're less than $4. Oh my God, so good. Worth it. Showing all these homes made me so hungry. Boy, I've never known Chula Vista to be so darn windy. Our next property and last property, property number three is a three bedroom, two bath. It's priced at $839,000. As you can see, it's on a very busy street, which is L Street. And it's on the kitty corner of uh, First Avenue and L Street. So it's about 1725 square feet. What I love about this property is that it's completely fenced in. It's completely renovated. Uh, it was built in 1959. You'll see a lot of these types of homes in Chula Vista. You'll see an older type of home that's been completely renovated. You see here. And you see a lot of oak trees in Chula Vista, right? So the lot size here uh, is about 7,800 square feet. There's a lot of potential here for growth, for rental income, right? You can build an ADU. Uh, there's a lot you can do here. You can walk over to the Country Club, which is across the street, the San Diego <laughs> Country Club. Hi, everybody here in Chula Vista is very friendly, as you can tell. So I'm gonna show you the lot here and the, the front of the house has solar panels as well. So this, is give, this gives you a good idea of what you can get in Chula Vista for $839,000, right? So we saw a property in the $600,000 range. We saw a property in the $700,000 range. And we also saw a property in the $800,000 range, right? So another fun fact is that it's only seven miles or a 15 minute drive from 32nd Street Naval Base or a 12 mile drive from the Coronado Base, which is a 20 minute drive, right? So 12 miles, from Coronado, seven miles from 32nd Street, and only 15 miles from North Island. All right, guys, so that was your Chula Vista, West Chula Vista tour. If you're thinking about moving to the San Diego area, whether it be in nine months or nine days, I'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Chula Vista. Send us a text, email, uh, DM, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.